Hello, my children. This is Has No Talent, and we're going to be going over some tips and tricks for Far Reach and Dishonor 2. Now, let's get straight into it. So, if you're crouching like that, you'll bring up <laughs> the Steam Overlay because you all tap. Don't do that and crouch instead to cancel all momentum. So, yes, when you're crouching, you cancel all your momentum. And this is actually useful if you're going on for like a lamppost down there or this thing here because you'll just go straight onto it and you'll be good. No overshooting, none of that crap. Now, this actually applies if you're standing as well, but only if you're not holding forward or W. Now, if you hold forward or W, that's when you start carrying momentum. Now, it doesn't always seem to be this way. There seems to be occasional times where I'm not holding W and it overshoots. Normally at edges, but I can't seem to make it reproduce with any sort of consistency, so not exactly sure if that's me or the game. Anyway, so it seems as though your movement keys and your mouse uh, influence your direction a bit as you're using far reach. Now this is pretty important, and that was pretty severe, but I'll get to why that happens in a moment. So double jumping and height in general seems to make you go a bit further too. So if you want to get the furthest thing possible, definitely get some height. And there's some pretty extreme jumps you can get actually. You can basically fly around. In my video, I did one off the wall there through the windmill blades. But in the process of making that video, I messed up and I have overshot this jump so bad that I went clear over into the water all the way from that balcony over there. So you can get some pretty crazy distances if you do it properly. Now, the big thing, and this is the big thing about getting awesome with far reach, is that when you pass over the grapple point, you can use the movement keys and the mouse, like I said before, to influence the direction and completely change your momentum like that. Now you can do this to get around some corners and get over obstacles you wouldn't normally be able to get over. Get over. And I use this in my videos in a couple spots and let's see if we can use them as examples. So in this spot, typically you grapple up here and you get stuck in here and you actually can't move properly in here and you need to hit space to climb out. So if you do this jump properly, you can use the movement keys and the momentum changing to get up and over there, clear it easy, just like that. This is another example where you can use uh, the changing of momentum to get where you want. I use this jump in my video as well. I grapple onto there, but end up landing over there, that? like huh? that. Here we are at Adam Meyer Institute, and I'm gonna show you some tricks you can do with far reach to make yourself look pro like me, am I right? Anyway, if you jump and look straight down, you can actually go backwards. If you jump, look straight down, as down as you can possibly down, and cast it as you passed over that point you're looking at, you will go straight backwards like that. You can actually get some pretty decent distance on it. Now, it doesn't seem to be that practical, although I'm sure you could find creative uses for it. It can actually help if you're going to jump off a ledge and you decide, oh, maybe I don't want to do that. And you just cast it, look down, cast, and you'll go back on the ledge. The thing you can do with far reach is grab objects out of the game world. Like this bottle here, and you can actually grab them out of the air too if you hold grab or the F key. And this works with most objects in the world, like bodies. Works with consumable objects as well, like health, mana, potions, and food. The last thing, and one of the most important with Far Reach, is you can actually cancel all fall damage. Now, I noticed a tweet that uh, Dishonored at Dishonored retweeted, and somebody said he used uh, doppelgangers and drop assassinated them to cancel fall damage. And while I think that would look cool, and I may even use it, uh, it's really mana inefficient because, like I said, you can cancel all fall damage with Far Reach. And how you do this is you prime it like you're ready to go, you jump and look straight down and cast it as soon as you see the indicator on the ground. Like that, no fall damage. And as far as I know, that works from any height. So, there you go, my children. Reach, reach into the void. Reach into the great expanse. Reach into the mind, into the soul, reach.